make a safer and more pleasant environment for you and our customers, we have adopted earth-friendly methods of cleaning. You will be using chemicals that are the mildest possible, microfiber tools, vacuums with HEPA filters, and processes that stay in line with our green cleaning policy. To begin, start with a clean, well-stocked, and organized cart. Gloves and goggles, microfiber dusting cloth, microfiber extension and high duster, multi-purpose chemical for cleaning and disinfecting, large trash receptacle, trash liners, vacuum, broom and dustpan, and mopping system as needed. Always inspect your equipment to be sure it is safe to use by checking the cord for cuts and frays and look to see if the prongs on the plug are not damaged before turning it on. Vacuum bags should be one third full or less. If not, replace it with a new one. The first cleaning procedure is trash removal. Start at the entrance and begin moving from left to right or right to left around the area looking for trash containers. If you find anything unusual in the container as you empty it and you think it may have accidentally landed in the trash, such as a stapler, carefully place it on the nearest desk. Empty trash containers into the large receptacle on the cart. Inspect the liner. If the liner is torn, dirty, wet, or had food in it, replace the liner with a new one. When applying a liner, remember to tie it snugly around the rim of the container so it will not slip down inside and tuck the knot under so it looks neat. Using the appropriate personal protection equipment gloves and goggles and the multi-purpose chemical, clean the area around the trash container or the container itself as needed. Always put the trash container back in the same place. If you find something of value, such as a wallet, a piece of jewelry, or a large amount of cash, report it immediately to your supervisor and follow his or her instructions. Do not take anything found in the trash. Remember, we never leave the building with anything that we didn't bring ourselves. Keeping safety in mind, never put your hands in the trash or try to compact the trash with your hands or feet. Use a broom handle, dustpan, or the bottom of a small trash container. Use proper body mechanics by squatting or kneeling, keeping your back straight, and lift with your legs. If the trash is too heavy, ask for help. Recycling procedures are site-specific, but all sites recycle to some degree. Make sure to find out what days, times, and where the recycling is deposited at your site. Remember, if you find trash in a recycling container, we don't separate it. It now becomes regular trash. The second cleaning procedure is damp dusting. Using a clean, slightly damp microfiber dusting cloth, dampened with the multi-purpose cleaner or water, dust all horizontal ledges that are 70 inches and below. The reason for using a damp method is so we trap the dust and debris on the cloth and remove it from the area, which is one of our green cleaning processes. 
Some of the areas to be dusted are desks, filing cabinets, tops of cubicle partitions, doorknobs, switch plates, window sills, chair and table legs, and baseboards. Areas over 70 inches are usually done according to a site periodic schedule. While you are cleaning, remember to follow all rules and regulations regarding confidentiality. Anything you see, hear, or someone tells you should not be repeated. Never touch any personal or business items while dusting. This includes candy out of a dish on the desk. Dust in front of or around the item without moving anything. Don't dust electronic equipment such as computers, DVD players, televisions, printers, copiers, or fax machines. Vacuum all visible carpet areas, including behind doors, under trash containers, and under desks. When you move something to vacuum underneath it, make sure to put these items back in the same location. Never plug your equipment into the customer surge protector or unplug anything belonging to the customer in order to plug in something of yours. If you cannot find an appropriate outlet, use an extension cord or call your supervisor. Take care when vacuuming so you don't knock into file cabinets, desks, or other furniture in the area. Make sure you vacuum behind the door first. This way you don't forget. When you have a combination of hard floor and carpeting in an area, sweep the hard floor first. Then vacuum the carpet. and mop last. Any door you have to unlock must be put back into locked position before you enter, even while you're in the area cleaning. Before you leave an area, make sure all doors and windows are secure by physically checking, not just looking from a distance. Always inspect the areas you've cleaned to be sure all tasks have been completed. And use energy conservation by turning off lights when you leave an area unless they are to be left on for security reasons. Never let anyone into secure areas except your supervisor. At the end of your shift and before you leave, make sure your cart is cleaned, including trash removal, organized, and well-stocked for the next day. 